have a set criteria for acceptance of the credit conditions at the board. How that criteria is developed is based on a medical evidence practice group that studies all of the best practice of literature in the world. American Medical Association. Well, it's not the American no, no, not sure. They look at one of them, but we do look at a lot of European studies as well. And there is a criteria for us to be able to accept this condition. Yes, of course. Whether or not there has been a current change, because quite frankly, the medical information we have is very outdated. This is 2009. Yeah, I We don't have a lot of accurate, comprehensive information since 2007. No, I, I was never allowed, allowed to go see any specialist there because I just it was all out of my pocket. Yeah. I was denied, I, I begged for a second opinion, and I was denied right up until appeal. Right. Same with my medication and everything else. And this is just, you know, this is discussion and can I? I'm not the adjudication expert, yeah. I'm more of a full rehab expert. Um, but we have accepted chronic pain. Yeah. And with that, chronic pain, it used to be with work space, we never even looked at, and society didn't look at quick diagnosis, right? It was a condition that was an assortment of pain type complaints, and we used to just always call it chronic pain symptoms. So to my mind, and I know this doesn't validate that you have this yeah. condition, but in terms of compensation... Two different things, two different treatments. Two well, different treatments, two different pensions, two different wage two different everything. Different, 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 different everything. Stuff. The way I get treated is different everything. It's different when it's done in CRPS. I've been through the whole system side by side with CRPS clients and have been accepted. Um, what are they getting that you're not getting? Just to full wage loss, pension, and full treatment. Nerve Full medication, nerve block. My medication, like everything, everything that they were entitled to, I was not. Okay, so I have that as a medicine to take away. Yeah. So for us to take away to review the first diagnosis. Like I was going to say, well, uh, but like I can just back into it. With non-compensable CRPS, right, right on my file. Right. Non-compensable CRPS. How can you get CRPS? But I mean, not compensable. Let alone it's like that. Yeah, that's the word thing. I don't understand. We're not saying that it's not No, it's, it's stated right in my file. I'm compensable to your PR. And I've never, I never looked at the word. I don't even, I can't talk to you. No problem. I think a copy of documents you have brought. Sure. Because I think it's important that we're all speaking from the same phone. Yes. So this is your file. Okay. Cool. I do want to address the first issue, which is the report that's right on top, cool. which is the WCAP decision on top. And this is, our, this is where we have had that discussion that sometimes decisions are binding on the board. Yeah. Any WCAP decision that they find is binding on the board. Even if it's done under false pretenses, though, or false information and false doctor reports, how can that be set in stone? It's the way the system works. So then that's wrong. I can tell you is that the appeals were denied. Mm -hmm. yeah. It could manage the credit on the three issues that were under consideration were whether the RFC or exceptional condition should be accepted under the claim, and then know that so, yeah. so for our discussion purposes, whether you're entitled for referral to a specialist and whether you continue to be temporarily disabled because of that condition. So based on the study of that finding and the evidence that was considered at this time, it's not something we can consider for yeah. new evidence. And now that I have any bones, yeah, I'm putting something down. Because I can't look at anything unless there is a further assessment to determine that there is a change yeah. from the information that is considered. And I'd be more than happy to go anyone, anywhere, anytime, except for your okay. Can we, can we, we'll take that one away and have a look at that. Cool. Okay. But this is why, you know, we have to say. We, yeah. You, you, we you're have limited by. Yeah. Yep. But to, to the other point around chronic pain and compensation and treatment, there is a whole host of things that can be entertained that we have latitude to consider in terms of treatment. The understanding for us, though, is understanding full package. Yeah. People who suffer chronic pain usually have narcotic intake. They yeah. usually have sleep disorders. Yeah. They usually have depression. They usually have other symptoms that we are also reviewing at some point in time. One of the important reports, in my view, is Dr. Thurston's report of 2006. She identifies a number of things, including the fact that she feels that you were suffering from a major depressive disorder of moderate severity based on the consequences of your claim. Yes. That was kind of a pivotal, it was a pivotal piece in our mind in reviewing your claim and something that wasn't reviewed. 
We mm -hmm. looked at that and said, we think this needs to be readdressed. And then I would send them to what was the 17th floor all alone. There was no money for food, no medication. This is when they sent me to OR2. Oh, for a while. OR2. Uh, fully knowing that I had no money or anything, they sent me and put me on the 17th floor of a, of a hotel. For no money, no medication, no food. Like I went six weeks eating once a week. I went home on weekends. It's been like that for my whole thing. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. You know, and then when I, I, I get mad and I, and I scream in bed because I'm starving, so I keep my life with, um, you know, I get out and I have to you know, get some security or you know, other other means when I was just trying to get my basic survival dealt with and and to, to sit there and do all these programs and have the uh, the people in the programs tell me that, you know, nutrition is you know, part of any of this and if you don't get up and do this, I'm turning you off and not confined. And they go sit in a forty minute lecture about how nutritional is pivotal in uh, your recovery. <laughs> Got and this is in my own brain file. I can sit like this from the start, right from my back. Can I tell you what I see? I, I read your, both of your files cover to cover and every document. And I can tell you things that, that I see. And I want you to either validate or sure. invalidate what I see. Sure. Because I think it's important that we understand and we tell you that. What I see is an individual who sustained an injury in April of 2005 who had decisions made that we currently are down, we are down by, yes. that haven't necessarily, in your view, compensated you for what you think you have an impediment for, based on the law and the policy of the board. Yes. What I also see is an individual who has had a struggle in life from the beginning, and who built a very successful career, and was provided by the of your employer, good work, you were known for what you did. And he went out and sought me out for my job. And you were able to provide for your family. Until injury came out. Quite well, yeah. We were pretty happy. So the first injury in April led to, where well, you were still suffering some consequences of that first injury, led to the second injury. Yes. And the second injury, because you do have a condition, which is sometimes called crystal bones, or fractal bones, or there's a very long name for it. That I can't pronounce it, so I don't even need to go there. And you guys can go back and look at my metal room first. I had my last bone density test out of like 18, 19, and they were fine, so that's not a factor. And then it doesn't matter because the way the long work works, we take you however you come. Yeah. It's called our sin skulls. Yeah, I mean, I've had a few points throughout my years. Yeah. I've, I've gone back in past. I, yeah. I don't it doesn't matter. Like, I just want to work, man. I like my job. I like to work. I work 15, 15 hours a day. I love it. You report a lot of reports on your file. Yeah, I think it's thrown into nothing in an incident. Yeah. Right? It's just, wow. And so, if you walk through all of the issues that have come up and all of the things that have happened and all of the problems that there have been, you're now in a place that's very unhappy. And I guess what I see, in looking through, and the Well, if you don't, we're just going to take what little money that we are.